Oh, look, I have a, a lot of ideas. I think the best thing when you first meet new people is getting to know them, getting to see how they interact with one another because as a writer, you want to make these people 3D and as real as possible. Me, I'm, sometimes I like a bit of music and sometimes I like to be in the silence. So writing in at night time is very attractive to me. Yeah. I think the best way to push yourself as a creative is to push your own boundaries. I feel, you know, I like to be inspired by the environment that I'm in. And the best way to do it was to be actually in the environment where we'd be performing and where I first met everyone. It just sort of seemed quite serendipitous to do it that way. <laughs> I just went, screw it, I'm going to direct this time. You know, I like being on the stage, but I'd love to challenge myself this year. Incredible, the script is ridiculous. Like, everything I envisioned for the, our show is in that script. And the actors have just through the first read through already fulfilled and inspired me. I want it to be very collaborative today. I don't want to be a dictator in any way. I want to make sure the actors feel like they've got room to really develop their characters through the day. We're in a costume shop. <laughs> so I'm going to have lots of, I want the set to be really quite busy because I like um, a visual set. We've really got the dream team. And we really do. We yeah. are so excited. Mm. And for me, it's been the songwriter. I've now given the song to my band. And I look forward to hearing it tonight in concert. <laughs> We're going to do so good. We're going to rock the house. <laughs>
of imbeciles <laughs> sitting around in circles talking about the latest drama. That's just my family. <laughs> Smith 
asked me every five seconds if I've met somebody. And when I say no, she then looks at me like I'm a spinster or a loser. my window I see a world of possibilities. Look inside yourself and feel the love and harmony. Resonate with what's true. Walk in the open fields. Walk in the meadow. Don't be afraid of your shadow. It's there walking beside you. Fill your heart and mind with hope. Don't give up. Know that anything is possible. Know that it's you that, that you need to make your true dreams come true. And you had no idea that she'd written this? None. Do you know why I wore whites to the funeral? Because she asked me. I think that's why I ended up here. I needed the, the colour, the vibrant. Something to make him smile. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of all the, the white costumes that made him feel so trapped, entombed. <laughs> you know, it was my dream always to be a musician. I 
was always wanting to perform with the MSO. And you know, after the wedding today, I had an audition, but my boyfriend and I, we were just gonna take some costumes, pack up and get the hell out of here, never to return to this damn town. What about your audition? You see, I'm just like you. <coughs> really? And you don't strike me to be the type. do 
without this, this guy, you know. <laughs> he keeps me protected and comforted and abused. And sometimes, all three at once. <laughs> and the crystals stay the same. They, every time I look at them, they make me feel at home. They're the first thing I see when I get here every day, and they're the last thing I see when I leave. And I see groups of people, strangers, connecting about different things every day. There's no mistake that strangers come in and connect. There's a reason you've been directed here. It can, you know, maybe we're here to learn, they're here to learn, and perhaps we're here to learn too. Now, speaking of strangers, you guys need to listen to this. Now, it seems there was this doctor, is that <laughs> 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 